Hello students, let us learn general science from the book Science Squad for class 5. Let us learn chapter 16, Effective First Aid, Helping Hand. In this chapter, we shall discuss about the first aid to be given in case of bleeding, wound, sprain, fractures, chemical burns, bites and poisoning and the prevention better than cure. Let us begin the chapter. We know that accidents results in injuries and may cause death to the victims. The first aid is given to the victim who meet with an accident or sudden illness until the service of a doctor is obtained. The primary importance of first aid is to save life before the doctor comes. The first aid is given to prevent heavy loss of blood, further injury, ease pain, and avoid panic, courage, common sense and few simple rules are the keys to effective first aid. Let us now discuss about bleeding and the first aid to be given for bleeding. My bleeding may stop by itself or press the cut firmly with thumb and first finger. In case of severe bleeding, keep the victim lying down. Raise the bleeding part higher than the rest of the body. This reduces the flow of blood. If bone fracture is suspected, do not move the person. Place a thick pad of clean cloth on the wound and press firmly with your hand. Hold the pad firmly in place with a bandage. Keep the victim warm with a blanket. Give him plenty of liquids like milk, tea, coffee to drink if he is conscious and can swallow. Call the doctor at once. In case of heavy bleeding, use tonic. Bind the arm or leg between the wound and the body with a piece of long clean cloth and tie the cloth ends to a wooden rod or a ruler. Wind it until Bleeding stops. Let us see how to bandage the wound. Wash your hands to remove germs. Clean the skin around the wound with a small pads of cotton wool soaked in an antiseptic like retol. Cover the wound with a clean cotton dressing. Now put a thick pad of cotton wool. Bandage firmly with sterile gauze which is an indisinfected thin cloth. Let us see how to what the first aid to be given for bleeding from the nose. When the walls of the blood vessels of the nose break, the blood comes out. Keep the victim upright with head slightly tilted backwards. Ask him to breathe through his mouth. Press the bleeding side of the nose firmly. 
place a wet cloth or ice on the nose and the forehead. Let us see what treatment should be given for the chemical burn. Clothing from the burnt part should be removed. Wash off the chemical with plenty of water. Apply an antibiotic cream. Cover with sterile gauze. Keep the victim lie down and give him plenty of liquids to drink. Consult the doctor. Let us discuss about sprain and its treatment. Sprain is a twist of ligaments, that is the tissues, around a joint without dislocation. It causes swelling. Keep cold packs or ice to cure. Let us see what are the means of fracture and its types. A fracture refers to breaking of a bone. The fractured part swells rapidly and is said to be very painful on touching. If there is an injury to neck or spine, do not move the victim. There may be of two types of fractures. Closed fracture and open fracture. Closed fracture refers to when the bone is broken but the skin is not punctured. It is known as closed fracture. When both the bone and the skin are broken, it is known as open fracture. The open fracture is also known as compound fracture. Closed fracture. Place the limb in as natural a position as possible. Apply splints long enough to extend well beyond the joints above and below the fracture. Splint give support to the broken bone and stop its movement. So the picture shows the splint giving support to the broken bone so that movement cannot take place in the joints. Use clothing or cotton to pack splints to prevent skin injury. Make a sling for a hand injury from a triangular piece of cloth. It gives overall support to hand. This can be done in case of hand injury, hand fracture. Open fracture. Place a pad of clean cloth over the wound. Apply pressure dressing to control the bleeding. Keep the victim lying down until the doctor arrives. Give the victim enough non-alcoholic liquids to drink. Let us discuss about bites and its first aid. Let us first discuss about insect bite. When insects such as tick, bed bug, flea, ant bite, first we need to remove the sting. Bite should be neutralized with ammonia or lime water. Make a paste of baking soda and cold cream 
and apply on that. To reduce swelling and pain, ice can be used. Let us discuss about dog bite. When a dog bites, we need to first remove the germs by washing with soap and water. Watch the animal for symptoms of rabies, such as tail of a hat. dog, hangs down between its legs, thoughts come out from its mouth and it barks aimlessly. Wolves, bats and cats also carry the germs of rabies. Infection should be prevented by applying an antiseptic and sterile gauze. Visit the doctor at once. Let us discuss about snake bites and its first aid. Snake poison affects very fast and causes death immediately. Therefore, first aid should be given quickly. First, make cross cuts about half a centimeter deep on the bite with a knife. Let some blood flow out. Apply a tonic or a tight bandage just above the wound. Make sure the weight is between the wound and the heart to stop the flow of poisonous blood into the heart. Wash the wound with potassium permanganate. Carry the victim to the doctor as fast as possible. To prevent the snake bite, you should walk in the dark with a torch light and high boots. Poisoning when a person is poisoned, we need to act speedily before the body absorbs it. We need to induce vomiting in the victim. Give him plenty of water or milk to dilute the poison. Rush to the doctor. Save and give the poison container to the doctor or hospital with its label intact and any remaining contents. In case of an unknown poison, bring along a sample of the vomitus for examination. Let us see how this Proverb, prevention is always better than cure, is suitable. Keep all drugs and household chemicals like phenyl well beyond the reach of the children. Do not leave discarded medicine carelessly. Never give or take medicines in the dark. Do not transfer poisonous substances like detergents, phenyls, varnish, poisonous medicines to an unlabeled containers. Let us have a chapter recap. First aid is help to victim who meet with an accident or sudden illness before the arrival of a doctor. The person giving first aid must try to prevent heavy loss of blood, prevent further injury, ease pain and avoid panic. Heavy bleeding is stopped by tourniquet which is a tight bandage. Infection becomes severe if the wounds are neglected. 
splint gives support to the broken bone and stops its movement. Insect bite may be treated with lime water, ammonia or baking soda. In case of dog bite, we need to remove the germs by washing with soap and water. Apply a tonic between the snake bite and the heart to stop the spreading of poison to the heart. Keep all drugs and household chemicals well beyond the reach of the children. Label all the containers. This ends the chapter 16.